Hello, procrastinators, and welcome to Nerd Cubes 101. Today, we will be looking at the amazing Spider Man 2 and also the PS4, because this is the first PS4 game I have played on the channel, so there'll be some talking there. You can tell it's a PS4 game because the buildings in the distance are made of cardboard. In fact, isn't that the labyrinth from Labyrinth over there? It looks quite a lot like it. Anyway, yeah, this is the new Amazing Spider-Man game. In a word, abysmal. In another word, really abysmal. Um, for the reason that just flashed up on my map. You see, this new game has decided that they should have random crime. So random crime, random crime, it's rescuing. Look, there's a, there's a car chase, and then there's a petty crime, you go and beat people up. And then there's a rescue, you go and beat people up. And then there's a police deadlock, you go and beat people up. And there's a fire, you go and save people or beat people up. Those random, those random missions appear all across the map. Instead of just being near you, they appear all across the map. If you don't do them in a very short amount of time, the game punishes you. See, I'm currently at Menace Level 1. It's not like an infamous system where gradually across the course of the game, you'll get... Oh, fuck, I've got to get out of here now. You'll gradually get better and better and better at one thing, at being evil or good. No, 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 this just is constant, never-ending punishment for not doing all the crimes. What's currently happening, and I don't know where they've gone, is there's drones coming after me. There we are. Look, there's drones coming after me. Why are there drones coming after me? Because I'm a menace. So the game gives you essentially a wanted level for not doing the side missions. It's constant, it's never-ending, and it means I don't want to play around in this fucking depressing-looking city. Incidentally, fucking ugly game. Christ on a bicycle. That it's a glitchy pile of art. Look at this glitch, and this glitch, and this glitch. This was in the half an hour I was playing before I started recording today. Uh, it's just... Just ugly, glitchy, rubbish system. Look, that one's flashing there. If I don't go do that crime, I'm going to be even more of a menace. So you're constantly on the run. You can't... There you go, look. Now, oh, I didn't do that one. Uh, it, because I'm early in the game, I actually did play... I've done a video on this before. But I didn't do a good enough job on it, so um, I deleted it yesterday. But I started the game from the beginning, which means I'm not as far as I was, because you can't have more than one save in this game. It just This is 2014, and we can't process the fact that somebody may want to have more than one save. There's one save, and that's all you've got. So if that corrupts, that, start again. doesn't really matter, though, because I'm only about an hour and a half in, and I've already done over a third of the missions. This game is about four or five hours long. If you just run through it, and you're going to have to run through it, because otherwise you have to just keep doing the same repetitive missions over and over again. God, it's awful. Right, let's talk about the web swinging by showing you the momentum of the web swinging. You do this, and then after one, you just sort of run out of speed. There's no momentum to the web swinging whatsoever. It's slightly improved, because now you can choose which side you want to go on. So I can go to the left, or I can go to the right, so I can go around here which is an improvement of the last one because the last one was hold down button and go. This is, you actually have to put slight effort in. Unfortunately, I've worked out the best way is to fly as low as possible and just mash it. And that gets you the biggest speed. If you, in fact, hold down the other one once you get the boost, you then get some serious speed. So just tap the button. There's no real point in doing anything. Oh, Central Park, where the everything sticks to walls falls apart because it doesn't. Apparently, everything, your webs stick to walls in this and they don't. They kind of do. They seem to stick to a pillar in the middle of the buildings. But, yeah, bollocks that sticking to it. Yeah, this is sticking to a building. Mm, okay. So, so the webs don't stick to walls. The webs have no physical presence. So if you try and go around the corner with a web, it won't get tangled up. You'll just be able to keep going around. But just keep going around. Oh, he lets go after he gets to turn height. No flipping. You can't flip upside down or do anything like that. <sighs> I get annoyed with the Spider-Man game simply because... And a lot of people, when I, I was on Twitter going, you know, I don't, I, I'm not enjoying this new Spider-Man game. I think it's a pile of ass. People going, oh, you have such high expectations. My expectations of you to do something slightly better or the same as a PS2 game from over 10 years ago. That's not high expectations. We are two console generations later and the games are getting worse. What is wrong with you? Ah, uh, yeah, so, I'm not particularly happy with this at all. There's combat in it. If you like Arkham Asylum and Arkham City and Arkham the other one, then... I wonder if we can leave. Then, um, yeah. It's more of that. Oh, you're not letting me get near the edge. Bollocks you. I'm going to keep going. Boost me. Do the web swinging. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's none of the proper voice actors from the films. In fact, Peter Parker doesn't even look anything like Peter Parker. With great power oh. comes great responsibility. No, it doesn't. Can't forget that. Yes, you can forget that. 
fine. Fuck you, bridge. Incidentally, this is what happens if you do the bridge. Whoops. With great power comes um, great responsibility. <laughs> from half an hour ago. Yeah. The game is glitching. So it just pinged me off. I was like, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing? I don't know. Let's have um, let's have a web around. Should we do a random crime? I'm, at the moment, because I'm so early, I can't get lower than menace level one, which is really nice. It makes the game much more fun. In fact, the, the, this game is most fun when you have the web swinging and don't really have any of the other stuff. Well, there's one dying there, but it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know why I'm web swinging, because web swinging is actually the slowest way to get around, because they still have web rush, which is that you push R1 and the game will take you there option. Like that. But the problem with web rush is it's not limited in any way. So you literally just push R1 into space and then you'll just go there. I want to go there and I want to go over there. Oop, not close enough to a building, so I'll just put it between buildings. As long as what you push R1 is close enough to a building, it will just ping you off in that general direction. Ping, and then ping, and then ping, and then... So instead of web swinging, I can just go there, and then I'm just pushing... I'm aiming and pushing R1. This is an unlimited thing, and it shouldn't be. This should be seriously limited in some way. Because it's just... What's the point of web swinging if I can get... So let's go to where we're supposed to be going. With web swinging, I'd have to go, oh, now I have to swing low. And then if I was doing web swing properly, and then woo, and then woo, and then woo, it's got no momentum to it whatsoever. Or I can just kind of point up here and go up here and then ping myself off there. But the fact is, as much as this looks better and is much faster, I'm not playing the game. I'm pushing a single button. So it's got all the systems in this game just don't talk to each other. It's like every single bit of this game was developed by different people. Different people who were locked in different rooms forever. It's just, right, so I can just ping over there and ping over there. Um, it's like the run button. The button you push to one is R2. And the game teaches you this. In fact, the game really shits on the Spider-Man mythos because the opening to this game is the, the death of um, the guy who makes the rice. Uncle Ben. And it teaches you when you're running around, you push R1 to run, but on the ground that just web swings you. So you don't have run. Unless you're in a building, in which case the control is completely different. Um, but that, that's the tutorial for how to run, is Uncle Ben gets shot. It's like, okay, that's nice. Incidentally, it's a really weird one, because it's sort of, it's off kilter to how it sort of be. It, it don't know, it just sets Spider-Man up as being a massive prick, because there's no, like, I'm not helping you, but it's, I thought he was Spider-Man at that point. It doesn't go, like, two years earlier. It's just like, that. Ah, Uncle Ben's dead, and this guy's a prick. But yeah, then you go and chase down his killer, and then it doesn't matter. I could try and do some, so let's do a mission. Not a proper game mission, because I don't want to spoil anything. And I don't, I don't know well how absolutely shit these missions are. My last mission I had to do, one of the missions, I went to some dude's house, walked around it, took three photos and left. It took about two minutes, and that's a main story mission. Mm. Right, so let's go over here. Ping. Oh, look at this. Disturbing the peace. Look at these people disturbing the peace by attempting to practice kissing. Where are they? There they are. Right, this is the combat. Oh, hang on. I'm in stealth mode right now. Hi. Yeah, there's stealth in this game. Let's not talk about it. Oh, ow. You punched me. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, hang on. I should double tap for that. You gotta double tap the counters. Right. I'm hovering. Ignore the fact I'm hovering and that's where the ground is. The game is glitchy as fuck. Punch that guy. Kick that guy. Kick that guy. Dodge that guy. Yeah, it's basically mash square until they light up red, in which case you tap triangle and then continue to mash square. No skill beyond that. Absolutely no skill. That guy's in a wall. And I don't know where that guy is. Oh, I can do a signature move because he's spinny. There we go. And I've, I've webbed him or something. There, I've done that mission. You don't go straight back into the game, unfortunately. You then have to wait for this bit to happen. And then this bit to happen because it's apparently worthy of a new story. The game is trying to load. God, the loading times in this game are awful. Like you boot, the, you go into a mission and you're in a 15 to 30 second loading time. You go to visit the comic store. You go to your house. Always constant 15 to 30 second loading times. Oh look at that! I'm now that less, much worse, less worse or something. There we go. My reminder: talk to Craven. How about no? Uh, let's web swing around the city so we can look at the gorgeous textures. Let's look at some textures. Mmm, PlayStation 4. Yeah, where are these leaves coming from? God knows. Yeah, as you can see from this bench, textures are on the low side of things. Um, hideously ugly game. It has no idea what a shadow is. It's really bizarre. Like, look, let's, let's, let's just show this. The, right, there's the sun, and there's the building. If I walk behind the building with the sun, the sun is gone. The building is casting a shadow, but the building is not casting a shadow in any way representative of where the light is. Look. Shadow. 
Nothing. Look, there's no shadow here of that building, but the building has a shadow. What? Uh, what, uh, what? Apparently I'm in daylight here, but it's not, because there's the sun. Fucking shitty lighting engine. No day-night cycle or anything like that. Between different missions is different stuff. Oh, look, I've not been paying attention. And look at my, uh, my, my menace level in the bottom right there. Oh, we're back to where we were. That's how quickly that thing fills up. So now I've got the military or whatever after me. Uh, hopefully, thankfully, I'm not further through this game, so they're not that useful. Yes, he's there saying webs need something to stick to. Do they, Spider-Man? What's this web sticking to? Because it looks like it's that building, but no, it's sort of a floating point there-ish. Just, just pointing that out that this web isn't actually sticking to anything. So shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's such a crock of shit. And the amount of people I've seen praising this web thing going, Oh, it's such fun. Really? Let's do a flip all the way around. Oh, we can't do that. You can't, you can't even hit the ground. Like, so if I do a web swing and I swing really late. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, nothing. Ooh. Like, the only thing you can do is if it just stops after a little while. You just, you might accidentally stop like that. But you can't hit the ground. Oh, fuck off. I wonder what was it? Kira's doing me damage. Yeah, you can't hit the ground in any way. The game refuses to let you fail, and that just makes it shitty. Like, the web swinging in Spider-Man 2, it's not the amazing Spider-Man 2, was great because you could fail it. You could fuck it up. You could screw up in any way possible, and this just doesn't have that. I'll tell you what this does have. It has a nice healing mechanic. You actually have to hold down a button to activate regenerative health, and then it starts healing. Ready? Dooby 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 bing! Which I quite like. Oh, I fucked a mission up by not doing it. Um, which is quite nice, but at the end of the day, it's sort of pointless. Who the fuck is shooting me? Oh, piss off. I'm just gonna plummet to my death. Uh, no damage. You don't take full damage. The game doesn't even try to make you take full damage. If you jump off something high, it's like, oh, you obviously didn't want to do that, and then stops you on the way down. Look at these windows loading up in front of me. Do -do 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 -do. But it's about as fast as Windows 8. Right. Let's plummet off here to show what I mean. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Going to hit that taxi and die. Fuck you, taxi guy. No. Game doesn't want you to do that, because then you'd fail. We want everyone. We want inclusivity. We want everyone to be happy and friendly. Everybody be our best friends. Yeah. Uh, this is um bad. I'm currently playing on the hardest difficulty, simply because I turned it on to get the... Um, I think I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Let's check the options. We. Uh, oh, there's the upgrades. Oh god, these menus are fugly as well. Look, <laughs> upgrade just the web. Oh, and I've got the web boost on, which makes it actually have some momentum. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was doing. When you fly from a height, you have momentum. Whee! And then it just dies off. But there's no point to trying to keep the momentum up, because if you start on the ground, web, and then do the web boost, you're instantly going as fast as the game will allow. Whee! So there's absolutely no point in trying to get any momentum whatsoever. So trying to keep keep your momentum up, pointless. Pointless exercise, the web swinging is awful for that reason. <sighs> I'm comparing it to a 10 year old game. Just don't fuck this thing up. Right, web, oh, apparently I can actually web swing over there. That's nice. So yeah, you basically just ping yourself anywhere. We there's comic pages to collect because the game shoves itself up its own fourth wall so fucking quickly. Before the end of like the fourth mission, you meet Stan Lee and Stan Lee runs a comic book and talks about comic book heroes and why are you still doing that? Why do you think there's danger? Oh, I've dodged the danger, so that's good. Oh no, the danger's back. Something is shooting at me on the map. Oh, it's you. Hang on. Was that just coming from the distance, or is that behind me? Oh no. <laughs> A big shot by that over there. Yeah, to say that the police water level is fucking brutal, slight understatement there. And to be perfectly honest, the Harder difficulties, all they give you. Oh yeah, that's what I was checking. Am I on the harder difficulty? Uh, there we are. I'm 18% complete. Mm. Uh, the 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 where's the where's the where's the where's the options? That'll be on that'll be on the start button. Ah, there it is. Settings. I found them. Um, yes, I'm currently on the hardest difficulty because there's human, hero, and superhero. All it does is it gives the bad guys more health. There's nothing else it does. It's just completely nothing. Um, the, the range, the amount of the menace you lose and stuff doesn't seem to be affected by it at all. My god, that is pathetic, isn't it? Uh, yeah, ow, hang on, I'm healing. Oh, I'll just stand behind a thing because you'll never catch up to me. And now I can do the healing. So shit. It's so broken on so many levels. So yeah, you have your suits you upgrade. Let's go here and show some stuff. So you have your upgrades and things you can buy. So you can buy... Oh yeah, there's this. I, sorry, I keep seeing new things. Spider-Man has electric boosty powers. 
because okay, fuck you, I'm Cannon. Um, yeah, he. when you defeat Shocker, you get to then summon electric-y shockwave things. Yep, Spider-Man fans just killed themselves. Uh, so you can level those up. There's one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. I don't care. You have your suits, and the different suits have different powers. But look, I'm getting, like, negative effects on my suits because I'm in Menace level. Hooray! So not only is the Menace thing affecting you, it's debuffing you as well. It's absolutely... <laughs> I'm just being shot by the fucking sky absolutely awful set of systems so yeah if you don't do all the of which because i'm trying to run away from this i don't have time to go and do all the crimes and stuff in fact some of the crimes don't even fucking exist they're not on the map you're not they're going oh there's a fire that fire location no that fire location is a fire truck in fact let's go to, let's go do the fire one because the fire one's probably the most enjoyable um that's the where did the fire one go i saw you here a second ago i can move the map with the ps4 touchpad oh, let's go on here Oh, it's over there. Okay, right. Yeah, when you land to see something, like, oh, you just lose all distance. Whoop! There we go. Right. The fire one's over here. I failed something, but whoops. Ran along that wall. Didn't just phase through a wall like normal. Uh, there we go. Right. Fire truck. <laughs> Building going away. Fire truck. What are you looking up for? Fire truck. There we go. Boop. There's no skill in trying to land on anything. So there, we stood in the fire truck, and now this building's on fire. This building only exists and is on fire during the bits where you go and stand on the fire truck. Which is nice. Come on. Yep, yeah, skip this thing. Oh no! I'm choking to death. Hold! Oh yeah, see? Look! Good thing I upgraded that. Swip. Let's get inside. Right. And now we use Spidey Eagle Vision. Because apparently Spider Sense is now Eagle Vision. Boop. Hello. I... Yes, get to the fire escapes. Or just stand there waving your hand waiting for Spider-Man to do all the fucking work. Oh, hang on. I hope you like broken glass in your face. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, we have to extract them to the exact extraction point. It's not just anywhere safe. There. This bit probably won't be dangerous if that entire building collapses. Um, oh, there's one guy there. Whoops. You, come here. Oh, I can't web him. I can't web him. Yeah, you can't grab people from a distance with webs, I don't think. Let's try it now. You, can I web you? No. Pick up civilian. Floop. Yeah, some of these ones are a little bit tricky, which is why I think I like them. Uh, in there! It's the only time I genuinely feel like a hero while playing this game. Sorry, trying to jump in here, but he's so fucking eager to land on these poles, I can't get here. Every use the R1. No, I tried to use R1 to get down there, and he pinged up to a wall. Yep. What are you doing? There we go. Just walk over them. The rest don't look like they're on fire very much. No, that gap there. Yeah, the problem with the R1, the web rushy thing... The problem with the R1 it's is, like it, it's, if there's something right. else to... It won't work. It's just not working now. I'm just not allowed to R1 it. I have to get through here. Do I web shoot that? Destroy that? Oh, that's fine. They all die. So, yeah, the R1, which is the boost towards stuff, doesn't always work. If you're too close or something else, it's like, meh, that doesn't work. See, I wouldn't mind if you failed getting some, damn, uh, getting some bad stuff. It's like, oh, I fucked up, and then getting some menace. But... No, it's just if you don't do them. <laughs> really badly thought out game. Like, shockingly bad. And some of the... the you'll come across some just stupid problems in the geometry as well. Like, the, not the ones you get wedge behind, but just like... It's just so lazy, some of the stuff I've seen on this. I know it's a movie tie-in and stuff, but... Spider-Man 2 was a movie tie-in. Uh, you, occasionally we do get them, and this is a franchise that was good for them. Oh, hang on. I'm being shot, you see. I now have to not spend any time in this city, which is usual because it is the dullest, dullest version. Like, it's there's no life to this city. It's just it's just dead. There's nothing here. It's just like, yeah, it's New York. It's a thing. And see, I can't hit the fucking ground. Heading towards the big buildings because isn't Times Square a bit over here? To be fair, honest, I just saw a triangle on the map. Ah, I'm stuck on a wall there. Sometimes you'll try and... The dodge button is the same as the stick to wall button. So if you try and dodge near a wall, you just stick to the wall and get hit by whatever it was you try and dodge. Yeah, this is the big, heavy on life Times Square. Mmm, look at all the people. Right, grab... No, grab him. Web to him. Yeah, just push the button. Oh, oh yeah, I'm in that building now. Oh, only one button to kill them, but they're still fucking annoying. Uh, right. Ooh, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Heal up. No, no, no. Oh, look, some people have turned up. That's nice. The city is life. They really react well to you. Oh, oh why didn't you hear me all the way? Hear me all the way, goddammit. Hey, look at this guy coming over here to tell Spider Man what for. Oh, no, you've just. You're just crossing the road. 
That's illegal, isn't it? In America, it's jaywalking. I should arrest this guy. Boom, boom, boom. No, I just pung through him. Nothing. 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 <laughs> I can wave. I can wave. If you try and punch it in someone, it's just a wave button. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, look at all these people going, oh my fucking god, it's Spider Man! What the fuck is happening with your hair? Face, 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 face. <laughs> mm, I'm a lawless ruffian. Face, face, face. Hey, I saw you over there. Oh, you just had a different jumper on. Let's fit through these gaps, Spidey. Nope, that's not the right way to do that. Look at all these lifeful people in here. Oh, no, I'm being shot again. <sighs> yeah, just open fire. I'm going to stand next to some people. Open fire on this, on her. God, I put my hand through her face. Yeah, you, you just are, aren't you? That's not, you're probably kidding her, to be perfectly honest. The cutscenes are nice. He lied. There's, um... The cutscene's atrocious. None of the voice actors are in this. None of the characters look like anything like they're supposed to like. The only thing that's accurate is the Spider-Man costume, which I do quite like for movies. I much prefer this sort of cartoony version of the Spider-Man costume. Um, but yeah, the cutscenes are overacted to shit. They just look atrocious. They're irritating to the point that I'm skipping most of them. Like, it's sort of like you, they gave a six-year-old the motion cabin and went, and in this scene, you have to be angry. And he's all like, Rawr! shaky, 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 punching walls. Rawr! Look at this ramp. This would be great fun if I had a car. I'm just playing a different game. Look! Hamburger! <laughs> He's just advertising hamburgers. This is the sort of future. This is the future. Hamburgers need advertising. How many people are going to see that and go, Oh, that's a good idea. No one. Some people are shouting stuff about J. Jonah Jameson. I'm not. What's that? Rolls beat meat. Mmm. Okay. Re rethink fir first. First. Rethink first. Am I thirsty? Ah, I'm not. The only card you will ever need, apart from on birthdays. Right, let's flick our way through this ugly as fuck city. I mean, it's, it's just sort of when you get on the... When you get on the... I mean, this is the first stage. These guys are the first stage. When you get to the third stage, you fuck knows what turns up. I think I've seen the second stage, but it's like, just... Why Why am I bothering? I mean, I'm, I'm not even looking at how many missions I've failed just by playing this. Now I'm going to heal up. I can't because I'm not standing still. Heal. Heal up. Heal up. Healed. Anyway, let's talk about the PS4. I'm quite enjoying the PS4. I mean, not game-wise, but <laughs> everything's just been massively disappointing. And I mean, this just feels like a shitty PS2 game. And it's not, because there's a good PS2 game that it could have been. Wee. Um, but yeah, all the games... Apart from Killzone, I'm quite enjoying Killzone, which is weird for me. I didn't expect to enjoy that at all, because uh, it's Killzone. But yeah, um, I, I mean, I'm kind of enjoying it. I like the new controller. I think that's the best thing about it. The new controller is... What the fuck did you just web off of you lying bastard? Why are there meteorites in the sky? What the fuck? Why the fuck? Hang on, I'm trying to ping on something. There we go. You, you've got a camera you can use to take pretty pictures. Look, there's just flaming meteorites fight. Well, there was two next to each other. It's not fucking planes if it's a meteorite. Okay. Right. There goes one. I like how the trail's lit up before it. Oh, there's another two. Um, and there's a... Whatever that is. Piece of cloud? Alien spaceship? I have no idea. Oh, that's probably an alien spaceship there. Piss off! It's one button to kill these things. Dude. <sighs> yeah, not a fan. Can you tell? It's got... It's, I don't know. It's like... No, to play, no, talk about PlayStation 4. Screw it. Let's talk about the controller. The controller's nice. It's got a good feel to it. It's got a good weight to it. The sticks are nice. The triggers are so much better. Oh, God, the triggers are so much better from the, the awful ones on the PS3. Um, the D-pad's actually quite nice. I don't like the touch paddy thing. It's a bit sort of finicky and fiddly, and it's not really it's not really that useful for anything. I mean, like, a lot of games are using it as sort of the start button, but the options button could be used as the start button. They're just not using it. Um, annoyingly, it's also shaped like the old start button, so they show, like, a rectangle, like, pushing options, going, come on. Yeah, there's no button called start anymore, which is always weird. It's like, how do I start my games now? Um, but yeah, it's a change. We have to get through them all or something. I don't know. The share button I've never used. That might click well. Looks like it. Uh, I like that it's got the headphones port built into the controller now, which is useful for if you wanted to listen to idiots. Oh, to be perfectly honest, or you can do what I do and plug in a, a splitter into it so it just cancels all voice noise out and puts it in there. Oh, it has a mic in the middle of it. I've pushed the button in the middle there because I was tapping it. Come on. There we go. It's got a sort of, not a microphone, a speaker. It's got a speaker sitting in it. Um, the speaker is awful tinny. It's just, it's, I don't know what it's there for. It's a very Nintendo thing. I think they did that with the Wii controllers as well. But it's, um, 
It just makes rattly noises when you do things, so I turned it off. It's got that big bar at the back as well, this controller. It's got like, this seriously huge, bloody great light bar. The latest update lets you turn that off, which was nice. It not turn it off, you can dim it. You can't fucking turn it off at all. But, um, BOAT EXISTS! Uh, but yeah, it's sort of, it's... I don't know what it's there for. Like, some games use it like... Oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck you playing that spider. Can't leave now. Oh. Spider Man. Hello. Help out a retired cop. No, because I'm in the water. I don't know what's Dad's happening going now. Down. Oh, I can rescue the civilian. Oh, it was this was one of these, was it? Oh, I'm over there again. Web me over there. Hi. We had these on Spider Man 2, but they were really hard because you had to get momentum up, but it was difficult. Ah, this one's become difficult because I can't jump over there. Web up there and then just drop. Web me! Get back no, to the not me web on there. Whoa, Nelly! Whoop! Nelly? What's happening, Nelly? Too far Water again? No. Oh, there we go. We're over here now. That's fine. Uh, fuck. Yeah, the light bar at the back. No idea what it's supposed to be there for. Like, Killzone uses it to show your health, so it's green, and then it goes to red as you start dying. But why? Why are you even bothering with that? It doesn't add anything. It doesn't... I'm not... I can't see it. The only time you see it is when it's reflected in the TV back of me, which is why I'm quite happy now Here's it's dimmed. Don't look down. Hi. Oh, it's telling me how to web swing. Those things that keep popping up, you can't turn those off. There's no way of turning those off. Can't turn you gotta... back on people in need. Oh. <laughs> With great power, okay. Great What's happening now? That used to be a fail it. state. No, I can't even get out of this now. I'm just wedged in the terrain. The yeah, none of the... the, none of the uh, nothing's working. I'm getting too far away from <clears> the action. Oh, ho, ho! There we go! Ba-boom! That's nice. I'm actually just going to keep this old man and his swaying legs. Oh, that's a great technique. I can use him to kick people. Let's go and kick someone. It'll be all like, I don't know what to do with this guy. I can't put him down anywhere. There's probably a place I'm supposed to put him down. But I don't know if I failed. I now just... <laughs> I've just got an old guy strapped to me. <laughs> He's got nowhere I can put him down. Okay, well, that's the amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, more on the PS4 as I play it. I mean, it's... This is a really bad game to actually talk about the PS4 because it's such a shitty game. Um, yeah. <laughs> America. Yeah. Sometimes I'm extra awesome. Yeah, and sometimes you're a fucking crock of shit. And that's what this is. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and take my old man home and make him kick Aunt May in the face. Ta-ra. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poo. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poo. Oh, I'm supposed to take the old man to this. They're using the same. This is where you go for your mission marker, as this is where you go to end this mission marker. I didn't notice it changed over. There you go. Now we know. I'm still not going to do it because fuck this old man and Spider Man. To the sea!